So the pressure building up all the time for the Prime Minister. Uh, joining me now is Nick Pierce, Professor of Public Policy and Director of the Institute for Policy Research at the University of Bath. He was Head of Policy at Number 10 Downing Street during Gordon Brown's Premiership. And um, I hope you were able to hear just those breaking lines, uh, Nick, that I was mentioning to our viewers in the last few moments. Uh, your thoughts on that? Yes, I, I was able to. And um, you know, it's clearly all over now for Johnson. Uh, there have been far too many resignations today for him to be able to stop the momentum of this and, and stem it. Uh, the last batch, you know, some serious younger ministers, um, people like Neil O'Brien, very credible figures. If they've decided that the game is up, then clearly it now is. And I don't think there's any way back for Johnson. It's really a matter now of uh, when he goes, the manner of his departure rather than if he goes. And it also doesn't surprise me to hear that Michael Gove may be uh, heading a delegation to talk to him, to be able to persuade him to go with some dignity. Uh, if he, Grant Shapps and others are doing that, then that's clearly incredibly serious for the Prime Minister. Um, and it will make it very difficult for him to say, uh, bring on a confidence vote, um, I I I'll try my chances. I mean, that would be very difficult in circumstances where it was known that people like Michael Gove had t uh, been to him to ask him to call time. Yeah, and interesting, the last paragraph in that letter from those five ministers who resigned as a group, in good faith we must ask that for the good of the party and the country, um, you, you step aside. I mean, if, if Boris Johnson does try to somehow uh, continue um, and says to the 1922 committee, well, you know, change the rules if you must, but I'm hanging on, um, how much damage do you think that is going to do to the credibility of the party? Oh, well, considerable damage because it invites an open civil war. I mean, we're almost at that point. But to uh, refuse to go when you've been told by senior ministers and by the 1922 committee that you ought to go, to refuse to do that uh, would be tantamount to inviting an open civil war. And it would be bloody and bitter and very, very difficult for the party. I've no doubt, though, that uh, on current numbers he would lose. Uh, and in those circumstances, he would then have to go. Um, so it's really a matter of whether... Uh, you know, he reconciles himself to that fate, uh, can understand it, or whether he chooses, with the advice of those around him, to, to battle on. But I think on, on current expectations, on what we've seen today, uh, he no longer has a majority of Conservative MPs supporting him, uh, and he would lose. And he would have to then go uh, to, to, to the palace to resign or to announce a timetable for his resignation and a leadership contest. Uh, and a short while ago, uh, Boris Johnson, or at least his spokesperson, was saying uh, in a lobby briefing in the Houses of Parliament that um, the Prime Minister believed he did still have the support of a majority of, of MPs, that he had a mandate from uh, the last general election. But do you think that those MPs who are coming out, whether they're resigning from ministerial posts or whether they're backbenchers saying they have no uh, confidence in him any longer, do you think that they are in tune with their constituents? Is this what their constituents want as well, do you believe? Well, the opinion polls appear to be showing that, that a majority of the public now wants the Prime Minister to resign. And, you know, a lot of the pressure on him and a lot of the pressure on Tory MPs to change their mind if they've supported him in the past is coming directly from their constituents and they're facing the prospect of losing their seats at a general election. They also, many of them, I'm sure, don't want to spend the summer having to talk about this and defend the Prime Minister. They, you know, they realise that this isn't going to change, that this is going to keep happening. And in those circumstances, uh, they've been forced to, to, to consider that you know, the Prime Minister should resign. So I, I do think, yes, a lot of this is explained, obviously, by public pressure and by what constituents uh, are, are saying to Conservative MPs. And now the sheer weight of resignations and declarations of no confidence is such, I think, that he has no longer got a majority of support amongst Conservative MPs and that his spokesperson is probably wrong about that. Uh, and how do you think uh, Labour should respond to this? Um, you know, by, by some arguments they might have preferred to face, um, in, you know, Boris Johnson, if he could have survived through to the next general election, um, face a, a Prime Minister who had come under severe criticism, who was damaged. Yes, I mean, uh, I mean obviously, um, you know, one, one of the realisations of Conservative MPs you know, wanting the Prime Minister to go is the fact that, you know, were he to be their leader for another general election campaign, uh, he would be likely to lose. And so for Labour, obviously, uh, they have to be thinking, and I'm sure are thinking, about what comes next, how they uh, handle um, a, a leadership contest. If the Prime Minister resigns, what kind of leader 
replaces him and what that means for the Labour Party's positions, its policies, its campaign. And so they, they've definitely got to recalibrate um, where they stand. And, you know, the argument they, they stand for sort of competence and good governance against the chaos uh, uh, of, the, of the Johnson administration, that won't hold up if you have a, a very different character coming in to be a Prime Minister, pledging not to be chaotic, not to lie, not to dissimulate, all those sorts of things. Uh, that will change the context for the campaign in the coming months and, of course, for the next general election. Okay, uh, Nick, thank you very much for your thoughts. Appreciate that. Nick Pierce there. Um <laughs>